He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Gadget Professor Show. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. As you know, the Gadget, maybe you don't know, but the Gadget Professor is now heard in 169 countries around the world, so I'm honored. Thank you so much. That won't happen unless you, uh, you watch the show, so thank you very much. We are back from NAB, and uh, I'm just finally uh, getting caught up. Uh, it's a lot of work to go to NAB, uh, uh, the planning, uh, the scheduling, so on and so forth. I can't complain about the time zone change because there wasn't any uh, Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona, and Las Vegas, Nevada right now are on the same time zone. So I was fortunate in that, and I was also fortunate in its only 45-minute plane ride. So that was kind of neat. And uh, if you haven't caught uh, episode 152, we're on 153. Uh, you really want to check that out because we had a lovely interview, an impromptu interview with the lovely and talented Callie Lewis, and that was a lot of fun. She's a great lady. So if you're new to The Gadget Professor, welcome on board. Uh, we come out every Thursday evening. Uh, we post a brand new show. And what I try to do is cover all kinds of uh, gadgets, some news and technology, and uh, free apps and free software that will make your life and the life of your loved ones a little bit easier, I hope. I try to pick on things, uh, at least for the software apps that are, that are free or very uh, cheap, if you will, so you don't have to spend a lot of money, and I take a lot of time digging those up. And then uh, we also have a gadget each week, and it could be anything. It could be electronic in nature or not. This week we have a very unusual gadget. I just came by this, and actually I, ha I wasn't going to do the show this week on this gadget. I was going to do the uh, Roku 3, which I'll probably do next week, but I only have this gadget for a limited amount of time, and i got to return it, like, uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll take a quick peek at camera two and we'll show you what we got. This is the, one of the coolest things I have seen. It's called the Pocket Power Jump Starter and it's made by Rockford. So we'll take a look. You want to stay tuned to hear all about this. I've never seen anything like it. It's quite amazing technology that's in that little pack. So uh, in any event, you can uh, tune into The Gadget Professor, of course, at thegadgetprofessor.com. And uh, if you're on our website, you might as well sign up for the free newsletter. It's absolutely no charge if you scroll halfway down. You'll see the newsletter there. Just put in your email every Thursday evening when the show is over. You will get in your email box all the URLs nice and neat with hot links. So anything we talk about, you don't have to take notes on it. It will all be in the show notes. And if you don't subscribe, you won't get the show notes. So uh, you should definitely do that. Also, uh, you'll want to check us out on Facebook. Uh, I have just finally started uh, putting something up there almost every day. There's our uh, show with Callie Lewis. Uh, here's some new technology that was out by uh, uh, live stream, and uh, here's a picture that we'll talk about. Uh, if you're watching my Facebook uh, page, you will see this uh, picture of, uh, let's blow that up here, uh, of this snake, which is uh, right over my shoulder here. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Here we go. Uh, that is a, uh, that's definitely a rattlesnake, and uh, there's been a lot of rattlesnakes here in uh, Scottsdale the last week. I've never seen so many, and uh, this one decided to take a dip in the pool and cool off, and that was about a three and a half foot uh, diamondback rattler. And uh, no, I did not get it out of the pool. Actually, what we did is we called the uh, the fire department, and they uh, they come in and they actually remove the snake. And the crazy thing is, they actually uh, throw it over the fence, which uh, is kind of nutty to me because uh, it will just crawl back again. Uh, but it is illegal to kill rattlesnakes here in Arizona unless they are threatening you or if you feel threatened, so on and so forth. So uh, Mike, uh, I think two days ago, called me up and there was a, uh, a good-sized rattlesnake on his welcome mat. Uh, and uh, I can't tell you what happened to that snake. So uh, uh, they're out there. They're out there. So if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see all those kind of uh, crazy things. And it's just Facebook forward slash The Gadget Professor. And last but not least, uh, you would like to you should follow me on Rebel Mouse. That's really one of the coolest things that I think I put out in terms of daily blogging, if you will. And uh, the Rebel Mouse page takes all our tweets. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Gadget Professor, at Gadget Professor. And if you follow me at Gadget Professor, 
Uh, you'll get all my tweets during the day, of course, but if you go to the Rebel Mouse page, that would be rebelmouse.com forward slash gadget professor. Uh, it takes all those tweets and it actually turns it into pictorials. So it's constantly updated with the state of the art, the latest gadgets, the latest, latest uh, improvis improvisations that uh, people are coming up with, all kinds of nutty things. And it also will uh, take some of my Facebook pictures, as you can see there, and uh, reflect that also in the Rebel Mouse page. So you can go to that five, six times a day, and uh, it will be changing constantly. And last but not least, you can email me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. That would be thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. And I do try to answer all, me, all my email, and I'd love to hear from you. So let's get started today. As I said, we have an action-packed episode, a lot of stuff to catch up on. And let's just get right into it. Uh, I think everybody's heard about the uh, heart bleed, the uh, virus that uh, is out there. And uh, this is the real deal, folks. This one's a real serious one, no, no, no kidding aside. Uh, Akamai, which is the, uh, pretty much the backbone or one of the backbone providers of the Internet internationally, uh, almost all the traffic, at least in my opinion, a large percentage of the traffic goes through Akamai and uh, it actually hit them and they thought it was patched but uh, I'll have this article posted. Uh, the, the web infrastructure company's patch was supposed to have handled the problem. Turns out it protects only three of the six critical encryption values. That's very, very scary and uh, we're not done yet. Here's the Wall Street Journal. It's also found its way into the Cisco uh, routers and Juniper gear and there are a ton, hundreds of thousands of Cisco routers and uh, if your router is infected uh, you've got major problems and essentially what this virus will do is it will allow the hacker to get in take your usernames your passwords your bank accounts so uh, whatever it can, they can get their hands on it's like free access and uh, here's a fact sheet that I'm going to include in the show notes that tells you really what you need to know it tells you what is uh, heart bleed and uh, uh, you know the whole bit it's very scary and uh, Supposedly, this seems like it's the worst virus ever to hit, uh, hit the computer industry, if you will, and it affects everybody, particularly when it's in Akamai and in the main chain, the main food channel, you know, it's right up there that supplies everybody else with the connectivity. So uh, uh, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, also, uh, it gets into the Android operating system, and there's been multiple reports of your iPhones or, or people's uh, Chromebooks being infected. So here's a little uh, app that's free you might want to take a peek at uh, and load it. It's called Heartbleed Detector and uh, this app is compatible with uh, all the Android devices and it will tell you pretty much uh, instantly whether you have the virus uh, or not and then what you should do about it. So that again will be in the show notes. Now here's an interesting app. Uh, I wish I had this when I was traveling uh, in my younger days but uh, I don't. Uh, this is called uh, Eat and Train and uh, jet lag is a result of a uh, disrupted circadian clock and uh, if you're not familiar with circadian rhythms uh, you, you should look that up it's uh, C-I-R-C-A-D-I-A-N and there is a person by the name of Circadian, Dr. Circadian and uh, he is actually or was actually out of Cambridge, Massachusetts and many 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 years ago yours truly had the honor of working with him on a project so uh, check out circadian rhythms or uh, circadian clock uh, it's, it's quite a fascinating uh, subject, but uh, anyway, E-Train stimulates your circadian clock on the phone and makes mathemati mathematically optimal lighting uh, recommendations to help you adjust as fast as possible to a, two, uh, to a new time zone and a new schedule. And uh, the recommendations uh, which tell you when to seek light or dark is based on new research and it goes on and on by the University of Michigan, but uh, uh, Dr. Circadian was the first person that actually put this all together and realize that as you go through different time zones uh, your, your biological clock changes and it makes you tired or sleepy at different times of the day. As a matter of fact there are a lot of people in the workforce on the Atomic Energy Commission for one that uh, they have to actually plot your circadian rhythm because it's different for everybody. Some people are night people, some people are day people, some people do their best work between uh, you know nine and five, whatever it may be and uh, you have to be aware of your circadian clock or your circadian rhythm. So uh, enough about that, let's, uh, let's move on here. Uh, here's a, a, an app that I'm frequently asked for. Can I anonymously or privately or securely surf the internet? Uh, and the answer is yes, you can if you just load this uh, free 
uh, app. It's called Safe IP, and uh, this will protect you online, identifying by hiding your IP from websites, your email, your games, and more. It's secure. This encrypts all of your internet traffic, which is good, with a private, proper, uh, with a private proxy. Uh, either at browsing home or on public Wi-Fi or Hi-Fi spots. So if you're at a uh, hotel and you're using the, quote, free Internet or at Starbucks, wherever you may be, uh, this app, whenever you're using this app in your browser, uh, it, it's locked down. No one's going to be able to uh, get, your, get at your data. It's fast and it's free. Otherwise, the gadget professor wouldn't recommend it. So uh, as I said, we got a lot of stuff today. This is really cool. Uh, they're doing so much with computer-aided technology design and also now that they're uh, able to tap into the uh, 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 face recognition software. This is pretty cool stuff. Uh, perfectly age your face through 80 years. Based on a single photograph, researchers at the University of Washington have developed a new technique for stimulating the aging of faces over nearly 80 decades. Yikes, eight decades, not 80 decades, eight decades. Uh, Using what they call illumination aware age progression, this method requires only one initial photograph that is automatically produces a series of age progressed outputs between one and 80 years of old, 80 years of age, uh, accounting for uh, pose, expression, and illumination. The results are stunning and even a little spooky. So uh, there, there they are at age one, and uh, they kind of mess this up, but uh, uh, you can see what you look like as you age. So if you want to. Uh, you want to check it out and see what your little kids will look like as they age or what you're going to look like when you, when you age, uh, you can check it out. So that means if you have a photograph of yourself when you're one, if you do put that in and then you see how old you are now, you can see how close it is. But uh, very cool technology and you'll, you'll hear a lot more about that in the uh, upcoming days and months for sure. Now here's a, uh, an interesting uh, app and uh, I think, uh, well everybody will like this. The gadget professor likes this. Uh, you know, today uh, Everybody's taking, you know, the, the selfies, you know, my uh, granddaughter who's two years old, uh, not quite two years old, she'll, uh, she'll take this, the uh, smartphone and she puts it up and she goes, cheese. So she's taking pictures of herself now and she's not even two. Uh, but this is called uh, Skinny Pics and uh, Gadget Professor needs this. Skinny Pics helps you edit your selfies to look 5, 10, or 15 pounds skinnier in two quick clicks on your iPhone. It's easy, it's simple, it's fun, and you can share them with your friends immediately. <laughs> Skinny Pics makes your pictures look thinner. Skinny Pics makes your photos look good and helps you feel good. And uh, it will go on and on and tell you uh, all about how it works. It's very simple to use. No, I haven't tried it, but uh, I've read up on it. It looks pretty good. Uh, it will cost you 99 cents, though, but uh, it's worth it to pay 99 cents to lose 15 pounds like that, huh? Pretty neat, pretty neat. Mikey's smiling at me and pointing like this in the control room. <laughs> okay. Uh, some freebies now. A lot of people don't know this, and I, I, I don't know why, but Amazon has their own music service, and they have quite a bit of music that's absolutely 100% free, and it goes across a lot of different genres. So. Uh, I'll have the link here. You can check that out. Uh, obviously, you can buy music there, but they do have a ton of stuff that's free. And now what I decided to do today is I'm going to uh, take you on a, a quick journey on how to get free movies and where you get them from and if you can actually find a movie or something to stream. So the first site I'm going to take you to is Can I Stream It? And uh, there's all kinds of free goodies here. And essentially what you do is you're going to go to the site and you're going to put in the name of the movie that you want, the digital rental, or whatever it is you're looking for, cable, most popular viewed, whatever, however you want to scramble it up. And you can actually filter this so you can see if the movie or whatever it is that you want to watch, the documentary is on Netflix, Amazon, Hulu Plus, Hitblist, Crackle, Redbox, YouTube, EPIX, EPIX, uh, Infinity, Stream Picks. Snag films, on and on and on and on and on. There is a ton of stuff on here, and quite a bit of it is free, totally free. Now, if that's not enough for my gadget professor fans, I go one step further. And I've mentioned this site many times, but it's constantly updated. And if you live in America, uh, your taxpayer dollars, which I just paid today, 
uh, well, actually a couple days ago, I paid it on the 15th, but uh, uh, paid it this week. Uh, these tax dollars actually fund this site, so you might as well take advantage of it, but uh, it's literally all types of comedy films, uh, uh, video collections, just sci-fi, sci horror, whatever it is you're interested in, you're just going to go to the archive.org and just uh, literally you can browse, you can scan, it's totally free and it's very good quality. Now, this one might be new to our fans out here, it's called Viewster. And most of what's on Viewster, probably 95% of it is totally free. And Viewster, uh, you can actually log in on Facebook and people can actually see what you're watching or you can recommend things. And there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Uh, Viewster offers a catalog of TV shows and movies that you don't find everywhere. Most of the content, as I just mentioned, is free to watch online by just one click of a button. You will find thousands of cool niche movies, cult TV series, classics, celebrity news, and trailers. You won't find the latest blockbusters on this site, uh, but you will find a lot of cinemas, and it's all legal. You can all watch this. You're doing nothing illegal. And the good thing is you don't need to download it. You can actually stream it, and you won't get any viruses or malware because it's streaming. It's not loading onto your machine, and then you're pressing a button and watching it. You're actually streaming it live and watching it. And I believe they have some things that you can rent to watch for, I think, like three bucks. I, don't, I think that's the highest price to have, three bucks. But to be honest with you, there's so much that's totally free on this site. If you're tired of the, of the you know, regular stuff that's always out there and you want something totally new, totally free, totally refreshing, uh, definitely check uh, Viewster out. Also, uh, I've mentioned this many, many months ago, but it's a great site, and the thing that I like about it is not only is it a great site and it pays homage to the black and white classics that are out there, but uh, they also are constantly updating this with new things. So this is called uh, uh, Big Five Glories, totally free, a place to watch free classic mu uh, movies online, and uh, I see they have Charlie Chan, and I've always enjoyed watching Charlie Chan and uh, uh, Bella Lugosi and... Uh, uh, all kinds of cool things, cowboy movies, The Big Bluff, uh, The White Zombie, so uh, The Ghost Train. So if you really, again, want something different, and a lot of these old movies, they don't call them classics. Uh, there is a reason why they call them classics, and uh, check this site out. I think you'll really, really like it. And last but not least, uh, we had a lot of stuff today. We really covered a lot of software. Uh, I'll never get this, but uh, it's one of those things that's like some people have a favorite movie, and they watch it once, which I certainly understand. They can watch it twice, and I could see that. But, you know, uh, I have a hard time watching a movie twice, unless it's something that I haven't seen in a long time. I think I was flying somewhere, and for whatever reason, uh, there was a movie that, uh, Midnight Cowboy, that I just, I was thinking about the tune of it in my head. I don't know why. But I decided to watch that again, and I actually forgot most of the movie. And uh, the first time I saw it was when it came out, and I just watched it a couple months ago. So, I don't know, it was probably 25 years. Uh, I can see that, but to watch a movie uh, more than once, more than twice or three times, I, I don't get it. Which brings me to this last app, which is called Listen to a Movie. That's right, Listen to a Movie. Uh, this site will run movies, it will run TV, radio, stand-up comedy, and they just have a feature called uh, Just Added. And there's no video, it's just audio, so if you want to listen to something in the background or you want to, you know... Uh, sleep on the plane or whatever, uh, if they have internet, uh, or if you're home, of course, and you have internet, just dial in and uh, pick out what you want. You can just uh, click movies here, and uh, it's all in alphabetical order, and uh, uh, there's 33.6 gig gigabytes uh, of folders out there, and uh, I'm sure there's something that you will find. Uh, I, myself, am a big old-time radio fan, so uh, I would probably check that out, and uh, there's only two things on there, neither of them are interest to me, but check that site out and I think you'll like it. Now, uh, we are going to go to the uh, gadget of the day, and uh, Mike, you can put me back on uh, the main camera and take out the background, thank you. Uh, this device is a, uh, uh, actually we'll go to camera two. Th th this device is uh, called the, uh, it's made by a company called Rockford, uh, the Pocket Power Jump Starter. And uh, as you can see, you get the whole kit. And uh, the main component of this kit is this, uh, this piece right here, which is the pocket power jump starter, which I'll show you in a second. 
but you get this case, and that's correct. Uh, uh, you get every pin configuration available to mankind. Uh, there's not a device out there that this won't connect to uh, in terms of a plug that's absolutely provided in this kit. Uh, you name it, it has it no matter what size. It even has, yes, it has the old uh, iPhone connector, and it has the new, uh, I think it's called Thunderbolt connector for the, uh, for the new uh, iPhone. And uh, it, it has them all for sure. Lightning connector. Thank you, Michael. Lightning connector. I knew I'd get it out. So yes, that comes with it. And you'll also see something that's quite unusual right here. Uh, you're correct. You do see some battery uh, uh, connectors here. So we'll talk about that. So let's take a, a close-up of this device. We'll stay right on camera, too. But uh, here is the, uh, the power pack itself. As you can see, it's quite small. It weighs maybe a half a pound, if that. And it has some unique features on it. And uh, let's just start over here by uh, showing you the, uh, the LED light. It's quite a bright light that comes with it. And uh, this is probably the more interesting part, which would be the front panel here. So uh, over here, there's the on and off switch. So if you turn this on, uh, you'll, I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see the four, the four or five power lights light up here. They're blue. You can't really see that well, but they are blue. And then over here, of course, you can see the light. If you press the power button again, you'll watch this light. Uh, it will blink. So if you have an emergency, it will flash. Uh, it will also blink slow. And then the fourth click actually turns it off. And you can still see that it's on, but now you notice the LED lights went off because this actually has a little computer in here that runs on Linux. You can't see it, but it's in here. And if there's nothing taking juice from this, if there's nothing connected, it will turn itself off, which is kind of neat. Now, what makes this thing very advantageous is it, it's a 1,500, uh, 15,000 milliamps, which is huge. And also, over here, you have a bunch of jacks. I don't know if you can see them. Let me kind of rotate that a little bit. But over here uh, is your input. And this is where you would actually put the charging plug that plugs into the wall and supplies this with the recharge power. Also, uh, you can, there's another cord that you can plug this into a cigarette lighter in your car and charge this power pack via your car. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Uh, here's a 12-volt output connector. So if you have one of those little refrigerators or anything that works on 12 volts, this will power your 12 volts, and uh, it will do it at 10 amps. 10 amps. That's huge. That is a lot of amperage. Over here, this output is uh, uh, 5 volts. It's a typical USB plug, and this is at 2 amps. So that will power uh, pretty much anything that takes 2 amps on an output smartphone, whatever. And then over here, it's 19 volts. And this actually works at uh, uh, 3.5 amps, and this will power your laptop. So all those devices can be powered by this one power pack, and it just puts out a massive amount of amperage. Now, when I first started talking about the, uh, the milliamps as to how this was rated, uh, I said it was 15,000 milliamps. Well, actually, uh, I'm going to get on my computer here. Now here's the thing, I mentioned that it was 15,000 uh, 15, milliamps, but it's really not the case. There, there are multiple batteries in this, and there's a lot of electronic circuitry, which makes this probably the most unusual power pack on the market. What you can do with this, okay, is you can actually start your car. So this has, according to the uh, documentation here, uh, let's see if I can find it. Its voltage is uh, 5 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts at 2 amps, 19 volts at 3.5 amps, 12 volts at 1 amp, and the starting peak current is, they say, and it's, I, I keep reading it because it's hard to believe, the peak current is uh, 400 amps. That's, that's enormous. So you can actually start your battery, your car battery, jump start it with this, and they actually give you the, uh, the tools here. We'll actually show you this on camera too. Let's take a close up of this. Here we go. So here's actually the, the plug, if you will, to uh, put on your battery, your car battery. The red goes to the positive, the black goes to the negative. And they have a, a molded plastic piece that's quite heavy duty. And this actually goes in on the side in a hidden compartment, which is right here. This opens up. And as you can see, that's where this would plug in. And you can't plug it in the wrong way because you. The worst thing you can do is, is you know, put the, reverse the negative and the positive. So this only goes in one way. And there it is. And now, uh, 
from this, we'll go back to camera one, uh, from this I'm actually able to start my car. Uh, for a device this size, it's unbelievable. Uh, there's a lot of circuitry in there, there's no detail about what's inside there, but let me read you a little bit about the uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, how do I turn the unit on? Well, we, we, we saw that. Uh, the unit will power off automatically when there's no load for charging. Uh, how many times will this unit, how many times will this unit charge my cell phone? Approximately seven charges from one battery. It will recharge your phone seven times for an iPhone 4. Now this gets interesting. How long will it take this unit to fully charge my mobile phone? Approximately one hour. How long will this unit fully charge my, uh, power my notebook? In about two hours. How many times, this one blows my mind, how many times will this unit fully charge, jump start a vehicle? Approximately 20 times, 20 times you can use this without recharging it to start your car. It's, it's, it boggles the mind that they can do this. And how long will the battery remain charged? This power pack will remain charged 6 to 12 months, 6 to 12 months. However, they suggest that you recharge it every three months so that you basically keep it topped off. Uh, if you're looking for a charger to charge your smartphone, uh, to charge your, you know, to keep uh, power in your laptop, uh, this runs approximately 18 to 20 hours in the air when you're flying. Uh, it will give your laptop 18 to 20 hours worth of charge just on this power pack alone. Uh, it's definitely a power pack on steroids. There's no question about that. And really, the price isn't that bad. If you look on Amazon, it's $91.99. Uh, that's a pretty reasonable price for something uh, of this high quality. This is relatively new. I have never seen it before. Uh, I've used it for maybe two days, tried it out. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, the other thing that I noticed in my research is that there are a bunch of these that are out there, and they're all different. Some of these are white. Uh, some of them uh, have different specs, but they're all kind of the same. My, my guess is, is that uh, they are made by the same company, but with maybe different labels for different manufacturers, and maybe slightly different specifications. But uh, you know, the broad paintbrush, they all are to jump your, you know, jump start a car. They can do that, and they all will take a charge and keep it for a long, long time and keep you in power for a long, long time. And oddly enough, I can't tell you how many people at NAB, National Association of Broadcasters, were walking around looking for someone who had a charger they can, they can borrow. So these things are, are very handy. And uh, just for emergency purposes, I would urge everyone to always have a, uh, a battery backup with you, at least for your cell phone. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed this. I have to return this. I'll get this out Federal Express tomorrow. Actually, maybe today. So it will be returned and the company won't won't come looking for me. And I will be back next Thursday evening with a brand new episode of The Gadget Professor. Have a great week. Thanks so much for tuning in. So long from The Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.